Hi, I'm Siobhan Cherry. I'm a creative director at uh, MindGrub Technologies, and I'm going to tell you, all the designers and one of the designers out there, how to put a little nerd into your design, integrating design, um, integrating te technology into your design. So why am I doing this? Um, I love do not design, I love technology. I've spent the past seven years working with developers, mobile and web, um, creating design. Um, so, and I've learned that we do not speak the same language at all. Um, so designers who are weak, we come in all shapes and sizes. Um, we put form to your function. Um, but sometimes we, we embrace design, but we do not always respect design um, when it comes down to it. So. Um, what is technology? We're, it surrounds us all the time, cell phones, iPhones, computers, internet, social media. Um, these are all elements that designers can use to market themselves, market their clients, um, and uh, add different elements to their design process. So there's no need to fight um, designers out there. Um, embrace it. Having form and function come together can be a great thing. Um, so. These are a few uh, things you can use to show how to enhance and promote your design. Um, so what happens when you don't put technology in your design? For all of you out there, you may recognize um, a little Comic Sans and Helvetica. Um, form and functioning, functionality together, Helvetica is beautiful, but here's an example of what happens when it's not there. So, um, so types of technology, um, internet, social media, mobile applications, devices, these are all things that de designers can use to market themselves, market their clients, add to their design process to enhance their design aesthetic. So jumping into the design process, um, here are a few things um, that designers can do in the various steps of their design things, and I do love nerds there. Um, so in going into research, Okay. Um, Google, embrace Google, it's your friend. I personally love using Google um, to explore new ideas, get concepts for images, and I also use it to kind of avoid trademark dilemmas to make sure my fantastic idea I just thought of at two o'clock in the morning, no one else has thought of for another client. So design development, always think scalable. Um, designers, we change our minds all the time, but our clients change our minds 10 times often. Um, so think about scalability. It's gonna reduce cost and effort in the end. Also, implementation. When we're working with a developer, um, always have built, start, use your wireframes and uh, make sure you're ta speaking, having open communication with your developer um, so it'll save a little more time in the end. So evaluation, don't trust yourself, get the opinions of others out there. Um, you can use Facebook, Twitter, um, blogs to kind of share your images, share your concepts with people, and think of privacy. On Facebook albums, you can control the privacy of who you're seeing it. On Twitter, the whole world's getting, you're giving their own opinion. So a few tips when working with developers, always play nice, be nice to them. Um, they are your man behind the curtain. Um, you're, they're making you look good for your client, essentially. Um, and always remember to keep an open communication with them. So I talked to my developers at MindGrub. They gave me their wish list of things that they would love all de designers to remember. Um, so web safe fonts, 508, browser camp, um, capability, um, compatibility, remember that. Um, so a few examples of designers using technology to enhance themselves. The iPad, painting, true finger painting here, um, using the iPad to kind of sketch, think of new ideas, a new medium for them. It's not replacing the media of painting oil or acrylic, acrylics, but it's enhancing it. Also, the last two seasons of Project Runway, um, designers have used HP Touchmark notebooks to either replace their sketchbooks or add on to their sketchbooks. Endless idea, endless colors, textures. Um, also, marketing yourself. You're a fabulous designer, so make sure the world knows um, who you are, who you are out there. Uh, have your website, your Twitter, um, so you can show all of your work and get more clients. Uh, a few of these things, websites, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. There are um, social profiles out there specific for various design industries between fashion, furniture, um, that designers can join to better, further and enhance their um, user base of people who love them. Social bookmarking, this is my personal weheartit.com. I use it if I'm on scrolling on the internet, searching, I find an image that I love, I add it to my um, arsenal, my library of ideas that I can use for later. Um, so, and building your knowledge arsenal. <laughs> 
Always avoid the blank stare. If a client asks you about this latest awesome trend they want to add to their, their campaign or their website, make sure you know what they're talking about, kind of keep yourself fresh. So um, I'm Siobhan Cherry, and thank you for listening of putting a little technology into your design. You can find me at noordinary, noordinarycherry.com or siobhancherry.com. So.